So uh, last week we finished up talking about the medieval and the renaissance era. Uh, this week we're going to talk about the baroque era. So what is baroque? Um, the baroque era lasted uh, from the end of the renaissance up until the classical period. So roughly 1600s to 1750. Uh, the Baroque era was probably one of the more notable times in music where tons of advancements were made. Um, and the biggest one would be the instrument making became way more finely tuned. And uh, all the instruments were being made of a much higher quality. And there were a lot of new instruments being invented. This is a time period to where instruments like the harpsichord, which would eventually go on to become the piano, this is when that was invented. This is when a lot of different brass instruments and stringed instruments were being invented, like the violin and cello, and they were refining brass instruments like trumpets and trombones, and they were starting to make them sound more like they do today. This is where all of that started to happen. Um, so just a lot of stuff was changing in the world of music around this time. And 150 years for a lot, all this to happen isn't really a lot of time in the grand scheme of things, especially because in that video of like the evolution of music, all of this started 40,000 years ago. And then all of a sudden in 150 years, we make this huge jump in advancements. It's kind of crazy to think about. So uh, much of the music from this time, it's highly religious. Um, due to the influence of the Catholic Church, the Catholic Church in the 1600s was still one of the predominant powers in Europe. And at this point, even the world, this is when European colonization was at its max. They were going all over the world, starting all these colonies on different islands in India. They're going to China. And so the overreaching arms of the Catholic church just kept on getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And pretty much the only place that you could make a career as a musician at this time was with the church. There wasn't really a lot of money to be made playing secular music, which we talked about, which is non-religious music. All the m money to be made was in sacred music. That's just the way it was. The Catholic Church had all the money. So if you wanted to be a musician and eat food and not die of starvation, you ended up working for the church. One of the biggest differences between music from the Renaissance era and music from the Baroque era was that the music from the Baroque era has a more tonal sense, uh, so uh, what's called major and minor relation, and so you have major chords and minor chords, and they relate to each other, and that's what we use today in our modern system of even pop music and stuff like that. All the music that you hear on the radio is using either major or minor chords. Before that, in the Baroque era, music was composed using those eight church modes, which we talked about. Um, and they didn't really use major or minor. And these church modes don't quite sound like either major or minor. They're kind of in this weird in-between, and it's a very unique sound. And so that was, that was a big difference because modern uses major minor. Old stuff uses those eight church modes. Uh, another advancement that was being made during the Baroque era was the invention of the basso continuo, or the bass line. Um... The, that idea of having a lower voice do something independently under whatever was going on in the melody was not a thing. Um, and during the Baroque era, it became a thing, especially with the invention of the cello um, or the violin de gamba is what it used to be called, which just basically meant big violin. Um, but the basso continuo was a huge game changer in the scheme of music. If you listen to any song nowadays, you will hear a bass line. It is weird if you don't. Um, and that's all thanks to the Baroque era. Uh, the Baroque era also marked the creation of the orchestra, which was primarily used to accompany opera, which was being extremely popularized during the Baroque era just because the whole, after the Renaissance, bringing back classical romantic culture. Opera was one of those big things. And as opera productions got bigger and bigger, they needed more and more musicians and eventually it turned into an orchestra. Uh, many of the important figures during the Baroque era were mostly from Italy, Germany, or France. There's a couple outliers, but those are the big three. Uh, some of the more important composers in this era, which some of them we'll talk about, we have Johann Sebastian Bach, George Frederick Handel, uh, Antonio Vivaldi, George Philip Telemann, Claudio Monteverde, Johann Pachelbel, and a ton more that don't have as much significant work, but we're still important. It's just there's a lot of people to talk about, so I'm only really going to talk about the big four or five. Um, but yeah, that's the end of part one.